Hello class 4 students. I am your science teacher and I will start chapter 7 plants making food. But what is food? Food is a fuel for any living organisms like an electric machine runs by electricity or petrol, diesel. In similar way, any organism on the earth need food to live. Like we eat lot of vegetables, we drink milk and we, and we get a um, lot of energy from these, from these foods. Similarly, how do plants make their food? In this lesson, we are going to study how plants make their food. Living beings need food stay, to stay alive. Plants need food. But unlike animals, they do not eat food. Instead, they make their own food. A plant prepares its food in its green leaves. Parts of a leaf. Leaf blade. The flat, broad surface of the leaf is called leaf blade. Leaf apex. The tip of the leaf is called leaf apex. Veins. So, here you can see main vein. This, the main vein known as midrib. And all the other veins are getting originated from this main vein. So, these branches, they provide food, nutrients, water, everything from the other part, parts of the plant to this leaf. Veins, veins are small pipes. So, what they take from stem? They take water, food, nutrients from the stem and supplies to the leaf. The leaf that, uh, that prepares food is carried back to the stem. So, this is the main motive of having these veins. Stomata. Children, the leaf has small, small minute holes which we cannot see. Without the help of microscope, you cannot see with our naked eyes. Leaf has very small, small pores. Leaf has very small, small pores which are called stomata. The lower surface of the leaf has more stomata. The upper surface of the leaf has less stomata. So children, what is the main motive of this small small pores? Children, as we breathe through nose. In the same way, the plants or leaves breathe through pores or they take in air carbon dioxide through pores and they leave oxygen out. So just like nose, nostrils, even stomata also work like them. Petiole. What is petiole? With the help of the leaf, with the help of petioles, the leaf is attached to the plant. Stipule. Stipules are small leaf-like pair. They are found at the base of petiole of many flowering plants. Making of food in the leaves. Leaf is called the kitchen of the plant. Leaves have a green substance called chlorophyll. The chlorophyll absorbs sunlight that falls on the leaf at the same time, carbon dioxide from the air enters the leaf through the stomata. Water absorbed by the root moves upwards and reaches the leaf through the stem and the veins. Chlorophyll uses sunlight for energy and changes water and carbon dioxide gases into sugar. This sugar glucose is the plant's food.
the process of preparing food from carbon dioxide and water by using sunlight is called photosynthesis photo means light and synthesis means putting together during photosynthesis oxygen is produced by the leaf and gives out through the stomata the food prepared by photosynthesis is used for the growth of the plant extra food is changed into a substances called starch and stored in different part of the plant the leaves are arranged on the stem in such a way that all the leaves get enough sunlight energy flow in living things plants trap the energy of sunlight to prepare food they use some of this energy for their growth but some energy is stored in their food in the form of starch the energy in starch is transferred to animals when they eat plant food animals use parts of this energy to work and grow and store a part of the energy in their body when some other animals eat these animals the energy again passes into the body of of the meat eater in the form of food this form this form a kind of chain where energy flows from the sun to the plants and then to animals in the form of food such a chain is called a food chain plants produce food so they are called producers herbivores that eat plants are called primary consumers carnivores that eat herbivores are called secondary consumers scavengers such as vultures or ants eat dead animals the remain the remains of dead animals are eaten by microbes they are called they are the decomposers they break down the waste into nutrients rich soil animals and plants depend on each other green plants provide food to human beings and animals in the form of vegetables fruits nuts and grains animals cannot live without this food plants also release oxygen during photosynthesis and freshen up the air oxygen is used for breathing by animals and human beings in turn animals breathe out carbon dioxide with the plant and need to prepare food when animals die the dead remains mix in the soil and form important nutrients for the plants so you can see that plants and animals depend on each other in many ways thank you children